All right, Geon Climax, 30 face. Oh, to wrap up, sorry, I haven't been able to keep up with the constant predictions on mine. I'm busy working two, three jobs. Just trying to get some, maybe some better equipment so I can edit these videos for you guys. And then, you know, maybe expand what I can do in regards to videos, which I can discuss that more later on. But this weekend, the blog competition wraps up. So we're going to do a blog by blog breakdown. Each blog will get its own video. So we are going to start with A block. A block, we know for a fact, Sonata will be the winner of the A block. He's already advanced. He has 12 points. He's yet to lose. And after that, it's a lot of randomness, a lot of people still alive. I think there's still five that are mathematically alive. So we will kind of real quick go over when these two happen and our effect to reach one that's still left to go on. Hikaleo, he faces Shota Uno. Hikaleo wins. He is in. No other thing needs to be done. Hikaleo wins. He's in. Then it gets kind of complicated in regards to uh, A block. I got kind of a couple different things here. They kind of help me out. Uh, we're going to start with Yoda Suji against Gabe Kidd. Uh, either one of those two win. And then they need a draw in the main event, which is Hikaleo and Shota. And then they need a Kaito Kayama loss or draw to create a tie, and then there will be a playoff to decide that. Um, if Shoto and Kaito would win, they would be tied, and then a playoff would be needed for those two in particular. So, just kind of real quick going over what the final night of block competition for A block will be. Uh, Ren Narita faces Kaito Kaioma, which is the sixth match. We will get some preview tags from the other blocks early in the night to fill in the other spots as each block. Final block night is so night. Uh, the fifth, so early morning, the fifth, late night, of the fourth, will be A block. So, another Friday night or Saturday morning. It'll be A block. Ren Narita and Kaito Kayama. Uh, Ren Narita is eliminated. He has no chance. Kayama needs a win, coupled with a short of Umino win to create a tie. Those, that's his path to possibly getting in and then whatever the tiebreaker is between Shoto and Kaio, or Kaito. Me. I'm not sure exactly how they're going to plan that out. They do think those two did uh, main event draw, or at least uh, which are time limit draw. So. Kaito has six, and Shoto also has six, so. Again, Yorosuji gave Kid a win by either man. To create a, a win. So whoever wins between Gabe Kid and Yorosuji, and I'm trying to understand how they have this word here on the new trans side and what I have in my notes. But a Yorosuji or Gabe Kid win, coupled with a main event draw, which against Hikaleo and Shoto Umino, and that Kaito Kayoma lost or draw to create a three-way tie. Let's do a four-way tie, potentially. Because Hikale will also be down there with that same point total. So then however that playoff will shake out, which will come down to a bunch of tiebreakers and whatever high strength of losses or something like that. So we'll have to see what the process will be. Yosuji you know, Gabe Kid actually is going to be a very interesting match for me. These two were young lines back coming out of COVID in 2020. And during the G1 that year, them, Yoda Suji, Gabe Kid, and Yuya Yumura, who's currently taking books, I believe, in Impact Wrestling down in Florida, were creating basically a young line block where the three of them constantly went back for that. I know during that time, Yoda Suji Gabe Kid went at it a lot. So there's going to be a lot of frustration, I believe, by both men to take it out on each other to prove who. Truly has graduated from that young lion status, so I'm really interested in this match. Next up, Sonata. Chase Owens, nothing really to go for here. Sonata's already won the block, he's in. Chase Owens is eliminated, so nothing to worry about here. Shota Umino and Hikaleo. Now, this is going to be the interesting one. Hikaleo wins, he's in. He needs no tiebreaker, no one to lose, nothing like that. Hikaleo wins, he's in. He'll be the two, and he will face. The D block winner, which a little bit of a jam, but I think we will figure that out here very shortly. Who wins that one? Shorta Umino needs some help though. Shorta needs a win 
it needs a Kaito loss or draw to advance. So when that Kaito match comes up, when, when Kaito faces Renderate on the first block match of the night, Shoto will know what he has to do. Uh, basically, Kaito wins, Shoto's eliminated. That's almost what it comes down to. You know, Shoto needs a little, needs some help from Renderate with Kaito in order to advance. Then he needs to take care of business between Hikaleo, the tallest member of the girls in Destiny. I am, between the ones still alive in A-Block, I'm going to go, I think Hikaleo will have the advantage. I don't know if Shoto can compete with Hikaleo's size. And with Hikaleo, he's basically got the one that's got the least to lose, in my opinion, in this. Regards of those still making it, so I think he'll come out with nothing to lose, everything to gain. That's very dangerous for him. Hikaleo, you know, took J away to an absolute limit not that long ago. And you can definitely do it to Shorta. Give me Hikaleo going as the D block runner up. I will put in that who I think will be next. I think it's going to be Shorta. Shorta will be the only other one. Because Gabe, Yoda, and Kaito need too much help. So I and I don't think we'll get we'll get any draws tonight or Friday night, Saturday morning. So I think Sonata and Hikaleo will represent A block in the knockout stage. So that's what I think will happen in A block. Uh, stay tuned here shortly. I will get the B block also uploaded, what I think will happen there. And I'm going to do each one of these for each block, and then I will come back probably when bracket, when the knockout station starts. And we know each one, I'll kind of preview and break down bracket stage and give predictions for that.